Hi, this is Trish. I'm the owner of Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I am here with Bindi and Dublin's litter. I had to think a minute. They were born on January 12th and um, are just three weeks old. The puppies are stunning. I am so excited about this litter. Um, I can't tell you that every litter is getting better and better that we're breeding and I you know you probably have heard that a dozen times from different breeders but I guess a picture uh, you know paints a thousand words or however the saying goes because you can just see how stunning these pups are and um, they're just starting to get a little bit walking and making squeaky noises and talking as uh, they're rounding out you know going to be rounding out three weeks here um, this little trooper right here is Bella with the lime green collar, as you can see the collar. And she's just kind of pushing her way around and waking everybody up to play with her. She uh, can see her tail's a little wagging. She wants to come say hi. I can see that. Hi, Bella. Oh, she's going to suck a little. She's, let me turn her around a little bit so you can see her. Just a beautiful girl. Hi, sweet pea. Hi. Uh, these puppies are so adorable with this great stop, which again is the nose. You want this nice um, blunt nose, like a, a bulldog type, you know, as, as flush as you can, as flat as you can, is the look we're trying to breed for. And uh, these puppies all have a very nice stop. Um, I'm going to go back to Bella a minute before we go on to any other pups. Bella's got a beautiful little bit of a wave to her ears. Oh, you don't like that sassy girl? Are you waking up? She says, I'm just waking up. Um, so Bella's going to have a slight, slightly wavy coat, as um, you can tell by the ears. That's what that's telling me. She's uh, just adorable. When they let you do this on their back, you can just see what a docile pup that is. Um, she's so cute. Oh, my goodness. She's got a really nice dark red muzzle, which is so nice on these pups. Um, you know, we've got four reds and one cream here. Oh, she's trying to look over here. Hi, sweet pea. What you doing? Are you stuck now? Come on. There we go. So they're just getting to be uh, like they have sea legs here. They're just starting to move a little bit. So again, this is Bella. Um, the other one that has a name already is Zoe with the orange collar right here. They're all trying to get up and there's our Zoe. Zoe is uh, definitely in the red family. And again, look at the stop on her. She's just fantastic. She's going to lick herself here a little bit. Um, she's, oh, big yawn. You got the big yawn. So pretty. She's got a little bit less of a curl to her ears. And that's telling me she's going to have a more fleece coat or a straight coat. Beautiful apricot or darker than uh, apricot red in the red family her coat is. She's making little baby noises. I think they're all saying, where's mom? So this is our Zoe. Oh, you, Zoe's sick. Okay. <laughs> okay, she says, put me down. She says, I'm not happy with you. She's definitely, uh, oh, there's mama crying. She's at the age where, you know, you're, they're just getting, a, getting used to being a little handled and away from mom. So beautiful, beautiful coats on these pups. And let's see, the next one that is, oh, the other one that's taken, I should say, is this one here, this little girl, who I am holding back for my breeding program, and I am still, I'm on the hunt for a, a great guardian family, because she is fantastic, so uh, this family that's going to get her is going to have to be pretty darn special, uh, she is so pretty, she is the darkest red that I've seen in quite some time. Totally a fleece coat like I've never seen. I just love it. And uh, she's going to produce someday some awesome pups. Uh, health testing pending. So we'll get her health tested and see how she is. She's shaking a little just because she's not used to being pulled away from the group here so much. Um, and then we have two pups from this litter still available. The first is the male, the uh, red male, which is this one. Uh, yeah, the blue collared puppy. There's the blue. Oh, so this stunning guy is still available. He's going to have a slight wave to his coat, again, by his ears. There's a little bit of lines going through, which tells me it's going to be a little bit wavy. Just very calm, 
and relaxed. I just think he's going to make somebody a fantastic pup. Oh, you can see they're all just waking up. So this gorgeous pup, this male, is still available. When he's full grown, he'll probably weigh around 29-ish, 30 pounds in that range. Um, just looking here to see if he's got any other markings. I think he's got a little white splotch on his chest. And uh, other than that, he's pretty solid red. He's got a great stop also. And uh, just a very healthy looking boy. He'll probably be about 18 inches tall at the back here, right here, when he's standing. So this guy is still available. Okay, and then the last one that is available is still sleeping here. Rose, you want to zoom in on her sleeping? She's just so cute. Rose, I'm at, by the way, I'm at Rose's home, who is one of my great trainers, and um, She's been helping me for a number of years, does a fantastic job with raising my, helping raise my litters as well as training them. Um, and Rose can be reached on rose at the doodlenanny.com. Rose does puppy sitting um, for, for uh, any, of, any of my Australian Labradoodles if you need the uh, vacation time or whatever. She has dogs here all the time that she takes great care of. And uh, well, she'd be happy to do um, extensive uh, or extended stay if you can't catch your puppy on the day you need to take it home or you should be taking it home. She will keep your puppy for a few days or whatever your need is. Um, and she works with the puppies and continues the training that we've worked on so hard up until they do go home. We start training these puppies to sit and lay down from six to eight weeks. They're f fed an outstanding product Excuse me, called Life's Abundant. Life's Abundance dog food and um, Life's Abundance just has come out with a puppy formula also. It's a large breed puppy but you can also feed it to small breed. Um, I just came back from a seminar with Life's Abundance so I've learned a lot in the last week. Um, they, but you can also uh, feed the regular standard Life's Abundance that we've been feeding these dogs all along. The moms and dads are on the Life's Abundance as well as the puppies when they go home. Um, these pups come with a two-year health guarantee, and if you continue feeding the Life's Abundance, I get a receipt every time you place an order with Life's Abundance through my website, and then I will extend your health guarantee from two years to three years. So it's a great program that we have. Um, they also sell training treats that we use to train these puppies, which are pretty rare to find for puppy treats. Uh, most treats that are sold in stores are for adult dogs and if you try and use those for training they will definitely upset these puppies tummies so you want to stick with puppy training treats and the Life's Abundance line is very curtailed to puppies. So I'm going to go back to this pup again here. She is still available for adoption. She's stunning. She's very inquisitive here looking around and Oh, making little baby noises. She's a cream with a darker uh, red ear. Fantastic stop. Probably one of the best stops we have in this litter. She's trying her darndest to get me focused in and looking right at me. Oh, you going to give me kisses? She's adorable. She's got this fantastic puppy breath that I want to bottle and sell as a cologne. And I would become rich and famous. Um, great fleece coat. And... Um, don't see any other major markings on her, but just a very adorable puppy. This is, uh, I'm, I'm very surprised these two are still available. She does have little white tips on her toes, and uh, so these two are still available for adoption. Where's my girl? She's just checking area, looking at all her siblings down there. So if you're interested in one of these two available yet, we got the little girl and the little boy. And actually this little girl is the largest of the litter, the litter and this little boy, oops, right, uh, this one, light blue collar or the blue collar, he was the smallest. But that is just what they are at their birth rates. They could very well be the same when they get older as, as far as weight goes. They're, again, they're going to be in the 29 to 31 pound range in that area. Um, let's see, all our puppies sell whether you're purchasing a male or a female for the same cost of $2,500. $300 is the deposit as part of that price. They are microchipped, vet checked, wormed three times. They go out on a spay and neuter contract that 
allows you to get them spay or neutered up to four months after you take them home. You mail me proof that you've had this procedure done from your vet and I will then turn around and mail you a check for $175 towards the cost of that procedure along with the pedigree. Um, let's see, we also give them age appropriate vaccinations. Um, we do paper training and then outside training for house training so they're almost potty trained when they go home. We start crate training them from six to eight weeks of age, so they're very adapted to their crates. They actually enjoy being in their crates, and you don't have to put up with that crying, screaming uh, puppy for a week. They really enjoy that. They also go home with a big, fat teddy bear that is in their crates. <laughs> they, are they getting sassy here? Um, let's see, what else? Um, so crate training for until they go home and then we also do, we teach these puppies to sit and lay down using the Life's Abundance training treats to show you how easy it is to start the training with the hopes that you'll continue the training. Um, you know, from sit to lay down to stay to whatever you want your puppy to do. Between the weeks of 6 and 16 weeks, puppies' little brains are like sponges and they absorb and imprint. So anything that you show them positively or negatively, they imprint. So you only want to show positive things, positive reinforcements, only loving, handling, kisses, just lots of attention. And they imprint that, and they live with that as a blueprint for the rest of their lives. And that's why we do this training so early, because we want to show you how quickly they catch on and imprint things. So... Um, Please take advantage of that time frame. Let's see, what else? So, and then, uh, again, they go home with a two-year health guarantee. If you use the Life's Abundance dog food, you'll get that extended to three years. Also, we'll, I'm available for the life of your puppy for any questions you might have. And uh, if I don't have an answer, I go on my breeder form and I post the question and get lots of different answers from different breeders and vets that go on the breeder forms, and I forward you the answers. So... We do our best to make sure you have a puppy that uh, a happy situation from beginning of the purchase process till the very end and beyond. So I hope you enjoyed this video of these stunning little babies from at three weeks of age. They're only going to get cuter and more adorable in the next week or two. And uh, stay stay tuned. I I would almost bet these puppies will be the two that are left are going to be adopted once this video gets posted very quickly. So if you're interested, don't hesitate. Either go to my website and click on the Contact Us tab at the top of my main page. Just send me a little note that telling me which pup you're interested in, the male red or the cream female. Or feel free to give me a call at my home, 262-628-3522, and I'll start uh, the adoption process with you that way. Have a great week. Thank you so much.